Hi everyone, in this video, I will going to solve this algebra equation. The equation we have x plus y is equals to 100 and xy is equals to 1000. Here we need to find out the value of x and y. So let's get started the solution. First, I will going to name this equation as 1 and this as 2. In the first step, I will going to take equation 1 and I will going to make subject of y x plus y is equals to 100 and I'm going to make subject of this y so I'm going to take this x to the right hand side so it will turn to negative x. This is our equation 3. Now I'm going to take equation 2 x y is equals to 1000. Now, in replacement of this y, I will going to plug in this y value, x, and the y value we have that is 100 minus x is equals to 1000. And this will turn to 100x minus x square is equals to 1000. In the next step, I will going to take this 1000 to the left hand side. So I'm going to rearrange it according to the power. So minus x square plus 100x minus 1000 is equals to zero. Now here I want to remove this negative sign. So I'm going to multiply both the side by negative one. This will be equals to minus minus plus x square minus plus minus 100x minus minus plus 1000. And this will be equals to 0. Here we get the quadratic equation. This is our a value and this is our b and c value. Now we're going to plug in all a, b, c's value in the quadratic formula. x is equals to minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So the b value we have here that is negative 100 plus minus negative 100 to the power of 2 minus all over 2 and 1. x is equal to this will turn to positive 100 plus minus here negative 100 to the power of 2 equals to 1 and 4 zeros minus 4,000 times give us 4 and 3 zeros over 2 and here this will be equals to 100 plus minus root this will be equals to 6,000 over 2. Now in the next step I will going to split this 6,000 x is equals to plus minus root 400 times 15 over 2. In the next step, I will going to apply here the radical root that is n root a times b can be written as n root of a times n root of b. So the next equation we will get x is equals to 100 plus minus root of 400 times root of 15 over 2. And the root of 400 we have that is 20 root of 15 over 2. And here this 2 is dividing with both the numerator. So we're going to write 100 over 2 plus minus 2 root of 15 over 2. Now this will be going to cancel out by 50 and this by 10. So the next question we will get x is equals to 50 plus minus 10 root of 15. So here we get that 2x value. x1 we have that is 50 plus 10 root of 15 x2 we have is equals to 50 minus 10 root of 15. 
15. Now in the next step, I'm going to recall equation three. The equation three we have y is equals to 100 minus x. And the x value here I will bring to plug in, that is x1. y is equals to 100 minus, and this first I will bring to plug in here, 50 plus 10 root of 15. This will be equals to y is equals to 100 minus 50 minus plus minus 10 root of 15. y is equals to 50 minus 10 root of 15. Now I will going to plug in this second value of x. y is equals to 100 minus x. y is equals to 100 minus 50 minus 10 root of 50. This will be equals to y is equals to 100 minus 50 minus minus plus 10 root of 15 and this will be equals to y is equals to 50 plus 10 root of 15. Now it's time to verify my answer here. Here I was going to take equation 1 x plus y is equals to 100. Here I was going to plug in the positive value of x 50 plus 10 root of 15. So from that I will get the y value that is 50 minus 10 root of 15 is equals to 100. Here this and this get cancelled. So here we will 50 plus 50 is remaining because 200. So the left hand side equal to the right hand side. So the first value of x, y is absolutely correct. Now we're going to verify my second value. For that, I will going to take equation 2. The equation we have that is x, y is equals to 1000. And the x value we have here 50 minus 10 root of 15. Here is multiplying x, y, so 50 plus 10 root of 15 is equals to 1000. Now here I will going to apply the algebraic identity that is a square minus b square can be written as a plus b, a minus b. So this equation in this form I will going to apply it here. This is our a and b value. So this will be turned to 50 to the power of 2 minus 10 root of 15 and whole to the power of 2 is equals to 1000. This will be equals to 2500 minus 10 to the power of 2 and this and this get cancelled. 15 is equals to 1000. 2500. 100 times 15 is equals to 1000. 2500 minus 1500 is equals to 1000. So here the left hand side equal to the right hand side. So the other x y value is also absolutely correct. Thank you so very much for watching my video. If you like my video, please do subscribe to my channel.